just walked outside on this Saturday uh, lunchtime-ish, uh, and it's pretty foggy out. It's kind of cool looking. This is uh, my front yard here. Yeah, pretty neat. Kind of enjoying this nice little fog we've got going here. It's kind of cool. It's not enough to be obtrusive, but it's uh, adds a little nice atmosphere. Hopefully it's uh, a sign that the, that the day will be chill and uh, it's clearing up here. So and we got a slow guy in front of us, so this is going to be a crawl. All right, guys. Good morning. We made it to stop one today. We are going to see what the day brings us. Nice sleep in. Sleep in till the back hurt. Kind of fell asleep early last night. Um, surprisingly. So, got a full night's sleep. I'm ready for fun. See you in a bit. Just took a look at these two cameras. They got it priced up way, way too high. They sell for about 30 bucks online and they want 25 for this Nikon Pronia S. And I looked up this Fujica DL20 and the sell through was really bad on it. There's like 17 listed, four sold. Only five bucks, but even so, kind of don't want to mess with it for that. Although they did sell for about 40 bucks, but. We'll leave it behind. Oh, okay. But paperback books. These are kind of... never heard this magazine before. Some heavy metal, too. I've seen this one. Juxtapose art magazine. Oh, yeah. Best seller type stuff. Cool. And look what I just saw. Little, uh, my sister's machine cassette. That's a rarity. Grab that. Just looked up this uh, Denon Network audio player. Uh, DNP 720AE. First couple listings were for a couple hundred bucks. Let's see if we got any solds. There's no remote with it. Uh, somebody sold this one on bid for 50. This one parts only for 100, 50, 50. So maybe it's not as big. But still, it was interesting to check out. They want 15, so we'll probably leave it. If I don't make over 100 bucks or a couple hundred bucks really on this kind of stuff, I don't even like messing with it just because of the, the hassle. So we'll leave you behind. Where did you come from? You were down here. I don't know what the origin of this Barbie collector's plate. I want 15. We'll look that up. There's lots of these. Looks like there's a lot of four. At least somebody is selling the same ones. But these are by Inesco. That's the same company that made those uh, Rudolph the Reindeer figurines that I sold last year, a couple years ago. Looks like they're selling them in lots for yeah, 40 bucks for four of them. Free shipping. So we'll leave this behind. But it's still interesting to see. It's the. Uh, Bride Barbie. Here comes the bride is the title of this plate. Thank you, sir. You got it. Well, these weren't the pickups that I was expecting this morning. Found a heavy metal issue, which looked like it could be good. Just grabbed this juxtapose uh, um, issue just to make up a total of 10 because I had one for free. I found these magazines. I had no idea what this was. It's this Girl Talk magazine. I've never heard of it before, but I guess it's some transgender magazine. So, taking a chance on those. Nothing on eBay. Found a topless Bratz Chloe doll. Completely random. And uh, this My Sister's Machine cassette. So, a few pickups and then we will do our post office and then go to the next store and then come back here. Okay, team. We just dropped off our packages at USPS. I think we had, what did we have? Five plus three. I think we had eight going out. Sold something this morning that um, we just happened to have at home. So that added to the total. Sold a couple more things. Those will go out on Sunday night or Monday morning. I've only been doing one stop here on Saturdays. I've kind of gone in and not much is going on. So um, I've also started late the last couple of weeks. So hopefully we'll see something. We just pulled a uh, couple other, well, one's a leather jacket. I'm pretty sure it's a Harley one. 
think it, it looked like it was off of a women's rack, but I think this is a man's label. No, it is women's, I'm sorry. Yeah, woman's large. So we'll check on that. And then we also, this just kind of looked nice from the rack. The Levi's. I think that's leather. I'll have to dig in and see what it is. Uh, it's polyester. So kind of a faux leather look. But, you know, kind of nice clean look. And they want 35 for both of them. So obviously we'll check before we buy. But, yeah, first thing I saw. Looking at this the other night. Maybe it was last night. It's an old Xbox, but either somebody custom put custom stuff on it or yeah it looks like there's a paint job but you know obviously yeah they might have modded it the stickers uh taken off that's the only thing i look for with these xboxes although i think they actually have some value now for years you know i just feel like i had a whole bunch of them and couldn't do anything with them but still kind of interesting to see stuff like that pops to check out there's a ton of them here. Uh, we got some X-Men, Jubilees, Lilo and Stitch, and Korra. So let's check these, see if there's anything worth grabbing. The closest one would be this cool Lilo and Stitch one. Uh, sell them for around 50-ish with shipping, but they want 20 bucks for it. So you, know, you might make five or 10 bucks there in the middle. But yeah, we'll leave them behind for someone to enjoy. They're either not worth anything, of course, but uh, the Willie Mays uh, starting lineup. I don't think I ever saw these oversized ones. Looks like there was a few of them. Kind of cool. About to check and see if they were doing books today and the uh, book lady bringing the card out right now. So we'll see what we can find. Now the book lady came and just found a sealed record. Proud family. And then this cool drumming system. DVD CD set. I don't know how much they went for this. Seven dollars. That's insane. That's got to be worth something. Got a cart full of books, which honestly, without like uh, games and DVDs and stuff on, I really don't get too excited about. It's not a scanner. This is kind of cool. Sticks, stuff like this sticks out, but there's no value in it, you know. But anyway, we'll do a little digging. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Thirteen bucks, little uh, Rock'em Sock'em robots looking thing. Probably not worth it. Probably thirty dollar new, I'm guessing. Yeah, 26, 30, 40, 35. Makes sounds too. That's awesome. Cool for kids. Google image search on this Levi's jacket. The thing that came up immediately was selling it like 70. It's faux leather, so it doesn't have that leather value, I'm assuming. It's such a nice looking jacket, but you know, paying 35 at best, I can get 60 ish for it. I don't know. I'm probably gonna put that back. So let's check out the uh, the Harley jacket. This is on this one are a little bit better. They're kind of all over the place, from like 100 ish to 150, around that range. There's some up for a little bit more. Um, that was probably a better buy. So we'll put back the Levi's and we'll pick up this uh, Harley one. There was another Harley one up there too. It looked more like an actual motorcycle jacket, um, but it was 50. I couldn't find any like good comps. It's not a leather thing, so yeah, we'll try it. Try to sell our first Harley. All right, unfortunately, this one's a new Urban Outfitters thing, so it's not worth anything. So we'll put the Proud Family back, and then I just picked this up because it's cool, but not worth anything. So okay, walking out of store number two with some heavy stuff. So we'll show you when we get back to the car. Okay, I'll show you what we picked up. We got that leather jacket like we talked about. It's a ladies leather. Picked up this sealed drumming system. I did a quick look. It looked like it was like 40, 50 used, and somebody had it up new, other condition for 100. So we should be able to get at least 80 for that, which is awesome. And then these, just kind of picked up these random uh, history books. Looks like it's a history of a certain area. It's got different people, different families that live there. I did a scan. I didn't see this one. I did a scan on this one and this one. And just quickly, they were like in the 100, 150 range. So could be really cool. Might be very niche. And somebody might have just listed them super high just because they're unique. But yeah, lots of different family trees, different areas. Um, we'll have to do a little more research to see where they're at. One of them said Mason County or something. So anyway, we'll take a look through those. Hopefully those will be worth it. 
now we're gonna head on back to our home store store number one yeah store number two is good found some stuff i think we're gonna maybe hang out here for a little bit and then get something to eat i'm getting kind of hungry romance mostly in here some horror okay some sci-fi stuff cool some coffee, but more romance. Okay. cool yeah. all right good stuff too Bunch of Danielle steel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, nothing much here. Okay, nothing on this trip. We are going to get something to eat. Now I'm just going to figure out where. I think we're going to go with the Red Wagon Burger. Rachel and I tried this place yesterday and it was really good. I think I might try out the Phillies today. Anyway, they've got a few menu items that I might try out, so. Okay, we just had the Philly with no bread and some fried green beans. I'll throw a picture up here. Really good. I'm happy. Happy we got a good place to grab a Philly now. So we'll get back to it and probably do our last stop of the day at uh, store number one. So I'm just put this on the shelf. Phantom Opera. That could be something. Asian uh, CDs. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Probably nothing, but where's the scan? This ended up being there's an alarm going off, which is really annoying. Looks like this had sold in the 40 to 60 range. They want 15. It's really dirty, so hopefully you can clean it up, but yeah, we'll think about it. I don't know if these marks are gonna come off. It does make the sound. I don't know if that's very Phantom of the Opera. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the uh, musical that well. It's just packed with people in here today. Like bobbing and weaving through every, uh, every aisle. This could be a bit of a gamble. Looked up Phonak, and it looks like it's a hearing aid thing. So this could just be the cases, which might have some value. Could be the hearing aids themselves, which I'm not sure can be sold. So I'm gonna have to look look into that, but we'll grab it for eight. We'll check, take the gamble. Okay, so I'm closing out the day with a couple gambles. We got these Chinese CDs. There's two Andy Lau CDs that will lot up together. We're going to do that. And then we bought the hearing aids. There's so many listed and sold that I'm going to write eBay. You know, worst case scenario, I can sell the, you know, the cases. But if not, it's only eight bucks. That'll close out our day today. We're going to go home, do some listings. We're going to try and get some more editing done today. And uh, hopefully be productive. All right, we'll see you on the next one.